Hi, my name is Camille Hyde. I've always been an animal person. My first goal in life was to be, uh, it was to be a veterinarian in space. <laughs> Well, I was always very, very much in love with animals. I started going to farms and barns when I was like one or two years old. I wanted to show you my little farm here. Jasper's my son, I got him at three days old. Aww. He was so small he couldn't follow his mother back into the barn. The farmer actually left him in the field to die that night. A very nice lady found him and she gave him to me and I've been, he's been with me ever since. Aww. He turned two years old on February 20th. Oh, happy birthday! As I got older, I realized I didn't want to eat animals anymore. So when I was in probably like ninth or 10th grade, I stopped eating meat and I was vegetarian um, for the better part of my life. And then um, in 2015, I decided that I didn't want to continue eating or using any animal products because we just don't need to. And there's so many other ways and options for us to sustain ourselves and to um, clothe ourselves and they use products that don't test on animals. Good girl. Did she do good? Good girl. Yeah, she did good. Oh, good girl, Rachel. Oh. You are doing so great with those guys. I can't believe it. Rachel yeah, is being she's so doing good, really good for you. Yeah. She is doing really good for you. You have a touch with baby face. I, I definitely think there's a disconnect between what's on your plate and where it comes from, whether it's the fruit, vegetables, and produce that you get on a daily. And then obviously when you see meat in front of you, it doesn't look like a pig that's been running around and acting like a cute little golden retriever like the ones that are here at this farm. But this is one of my favorite places on the whole farm. This is what I call the alchemy room. Alchemy because alchemy is all about turning things from lead to gold, right? Yeah. So this is where we turn things from poop into gold. <laughs> oh wow. This is our, our compost area. Nothing's ever wasted here. We have poop and straw and leaves and weeds yeah. and we water it, we make it happy. After about six weeks we turn it, it goes into the second pile there where it's, where it's about half composted. Then after about six weeks in here, it'll go over there and then it is the best compost in the world. And they have this sustainable garden here that kids get to learn how to grow their own food and and um, experience what it's like to actually grow something from the seed and eat it so it's like farm to table and I really 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 think that's something that we should really instill in the next generation and generations to follow so people can be really aware of how to cultivate their own food. When I was little my parents used to take me to this fair in Massachusetts where we went every summer and they had a whole barn section where you can pet all the baby chickens and pigs and I encountered my first baby pig and his name was Norman. I was like probably like four or five and that was the first time that I told my parents I didn't want to eat meat. I think if we learn how to educate ourselves on veganism and sustainability we're going to go in a really beautiful place.